everyone. Yay! Yay. We're, back. We're now the final four. Everyone is shocked that Asia is still here. I mean, she is only seven years old. Now she's going to be expected to keep up. That's going to be tough. You cannot perform technique that you don't have. Hello. Welcome back, Brianna, Asia, Amanda, Madison. Wow, the final four. Congratulations to you guys. You're the final four. Some may say the fabulous four. I say, need to fix it for. If I could take Amanda's feet, Brianna's strength, Asia's face, and this one's turns and jumps, I would have the winner of Abby's Ultimate Dance Competition. Abby wants somebody that is great at technique and at the same time great at performing to win this competition. And I think this week I can deliver that. We want to give you something to inspire you. Inspire the challenge, which is balance, and the theme, which is circus. Circus theme, hmm. I can't imagine exactly the type of choreography that would be done around the girls. So you are going to be the first ever to watch Paramount's new Only in Theaters 3D movie experience, Cirque du Soleil, Worlds Away. Look at what they do, what do they do well, and take it, learn from it. Let's check out some of their amazing feats of balance. Cirque du Soleil has given us a pretty incredible prize for the winner of our group challenge. Two plane tickets and hotel accommodations to New York City so you guys can attend the world premiere of the film Cirque du Soleil Worlds Away. I really want those tickets to New York for Brianna and I to take a trip after the drama and the late night rehearsals and go to New York and see the show. That would be great. A performance like that takes one thing, and that's balance. Hence the balance beam. I've never done a dance on a balance beam before, and I'm really nervous because depending on how high it is, you could fall off and hurt yourself really bad. I want to see just exactly who has the best balance. I think I'll do amazing because I know the balance beam and the other girls don't. Has anyone ever been on a balance beam? Yes. Asia is a trained gymnast and actually trained on the beam, so she definitely has an advantage in this challenge. Guest choreographer? She was on Britney Spears' big circus tour. It's Shannon Beach. Yeah. Nice to see you. Hi, guys. Hi. Be tough. I will. I All promise. Right. I'll make you proud. All right, you'll have 20 minutes to learn this combination before Abby and I return, and she will judge you and pick a winner, all right? I think we need a little bit more time to learn how to use a balance beam. So we're going to start in a battle. We're down to the final four. No one wants to go home. In order for Brianna to do her best, we need more time. 20 minutes with four girls learning the routine. That's not right. So if we do need <laughs> to slide. The choreographer, Shannon Beef, she's very talented. The moves and the things that she can do on the balance beam is like, wow. OK, now it's going to be challenging. We're going to take turns on the beam so you guys can all get a sense of what it is before you have to do it in front of Abby. Are you kidding me? I'm not doing this split. <laughs> That's really hard. But if I really want to get this trip to New York, I have to do it. She's used to it. She's got a lot to balance. God, how are they so threatened? But you know, I get it because I'm sure they're saying, I don't want this seven-year-old to beat my 13-year-old, but I think we have a great chance of taking this. When you get to this point, ladies, is where you really have to squeeze. You got it, girl. You got it. Hold it. All right, who's up next? <laughs> so don't scrunch your toes along. Just lift your toes up, slide on your foot. Slowly, slowly. Find it, squeeze it, squeeze it. Yes. Oh, it's scary, right? Squeeze it, fight for it. Oh. You have to be so focused to maintain your balance. But I know we have such a short period of time. <laughs> I'm getting really nervous because the split on the balance beam without hands is really hard. But I know I have to get it because I don't want to be sent home this week. How did it go? It was OK. Ladies, Asia's going to go first. Yeah. Are you ready? Yes. Let's play the music. <laughs> it
it's cute and it's little. It's ridiculous. I feel like you're trying to pull one over on me all the time. I can't do the steps, but I'm just really cute, Miss Abby. I think we all felt like, OK, finally, you know, it's out of the bag. Asia does rely on her cuteness. All right, who's next? Let's go. Play music. I have complete faith in Brianna. However, holding it in a split position at the very end, I'm not sure. Brianna, so close. Oh, there goes my two tickets to New York. All right, who's next? Miss Amanda? My biggest competition, I'd probably say, is Amanda. She has beautiful techniques, so I just need to work really hard to get to her ballet level. Ready? Madison needs to work on balance. That's exactly what I needed to know going into this week. All right. I think they're smart kids. They're just not getting it. Asia, I think your biggest problem is you're doing really advanced big girl steps without the proper training. Madison, we need you to use your face. Get a video camera out, tape her face, and let her see what she looks like. It's ridiculous. She has all this talent, and we could chop her head right off and put her head on her body. Madison's not dead on her face. She's performing. Brianna, if you have bad feet, which you know you have horrendous feet, you have to fix them or wear heels. I don't know why Abby is being so harsh. It's not what you say, it's how you say it. It's how you deliver it. Amanda, you think in your mind that you're giving me all these facial expressions and I'm seeing three emotional levels during the performance and you're nailing it. And it's little, it's nothing. With Abby, it's an issue with Amanda's face. And it is my job to make sure that this week, she gets it. Girls, that was bad. Your body alignment, your posture, balance is one of the key principles of your dancing. If you really want this, you need to step it up. We need a winner for this challenge. And the winner for this group dance challenge and two tickets to New York is... We need a winner for this challenge. This week's prize for the group dance challenge is two plane tickets to New York City and two tickets to see Cirque du Soleil Worlds Away. I really hope I win that group dance challenge. Ladies. Congratulate Amanda. She is your challenge winner. What she did with her pose was very dynamic and it went with the music. If you really want this and you want to do this for a living, work on your face. I need to see that you take the correction I give you, you comprehend it, and you apply it. I don't want you to come out on stage in the next competition round and make the same mistake. I think I did the best, but you know what? I got robbed. It wasn't that you were the best. You were just the best of the worst. Understood? Abby said that I was the best out of the worst, so I just have to make myself even better the next time. Round of applause for Amanda. Nice job. Amanda wins for being the best of the worst. I don't really care. I love the fact that we're going to New York to attend the premiere of Worlds Away. With only four dancers left, all the girls will have solos and a group dance as well. Asia will need to improve her technique. Madison and Amanda will need to improve their facial execution. And Brianna has to let go. Only three dancers can move on to the finale. Yes, honey, more. Go. I'm so excited to see that my assignment this week is a lyrical piece. I'm really good at lyrical, and I'm going to have a lot of emotion this week, like Asia. Dancing off the clock Feels like time will stop still need to see that. My strategy for Madison to get into the top three 
is to blow the judges away with her emotional performance. I want to see it from the front. No, no, it matters. Like teacher. I know, but I'm here to help you. Right now, Christy feels that Asia could outperform and make the top three. And I think that you could outperform Amanda. You really, really need to bring on this okay. emotion. Nah, still don't, don't just drop your face like this, look. All that face, yeah? All that. My choreographer this week for my solo is Anthony, and the style that I'm doing is jazz. More character than the dancing. The dancing is secondary right now. Imitate Asia like I asked you to. Everybody keeps telling me, perform like Asia. I'm like, that's her thing, not mine. The choreography is not that great, but I can do something with my face. <laughs> Now, don't be making any noises now. I need to concentrate right now on what Amanda's doing, and Corrine does not need to be here in our rehearsal. One, two, three. You see the body. You see right. the technique. But you don't see this. The face is not stage ready. Over the top. Give me some smiles in the beginning. The face is not stage ready. More, more face here, more, more. From my point of view, the transitions I understand. were You know what? Ready. Focus on your kid. Focus on her face, too. Because... Oh, Madison's definitely bringing the emotion. She's definitely bringing the emotion to the Do table. Do you think so? I didn't see that, uh, but that's all right. Scream it out loud! You're, you're spatially challenged. You're spatially challenged, facially challenged. Go figure it out. She needs to let go. She needs to stop being so nice and humble. It's just not enough. You're not pushing yourself. And it's frustrating me because I can't get it out of you. I said all I can really say. I, can, I can't do anything else, Amanda. Don't be so serious, Brianna. This week, I'm a clown in a musical theater number. To be quite frank, it's not easy. I have to make Robin, Richie, and especially Abby laugh. Smile and relax your face. You're going to come off as this, like, mean clown. She's supposed to be funny and, like, silly and whimsical. Who, who was that? Yeah, I'm a little freaked out. Why so serious? Take a water break. Take two minutes. It's not that funny. <laughs> no, seriously, I'm not kidding. I am a very serious dancer. And to be a clown, it's a total stretch because I'm, like, not that person. You're getting off track. Stay on track. Go around, even go in a circle. Don't, that, all that pattern is not necessary. I love Asia's solo. This week is Captive Animals, and it's so fitting because she's my little wild animal. She's going to make it her own. Look, trust in yourself to pull your feet through. Go. Asia. Are you scared to do it? You're too scared to do it? Yes. OK. I'm nervous about the cage and me hurting myself. Drop. I know I can do it, and I'm going to trust myself. Wait, that foot, that foot is not pointing. You can't, before you, when you take that foot off the floor, point it. Why do you t even take your feet off the floor? You shouldn't be a dancer then if you can't point your feet. Asia can learn to point her toes and remember to point her toes, but some people are just not born with the gift that Asia has with her expressions. This is it, OK? This routine is important. We can beat Madison. We can beat Amanda. They have nothing going on right here, but we're concentrating, and we're going to knock one of them out. Amanda. Amanda? Why? Because how strong I am and how my facial expression kills her. Hi, welcome. This week, the girls will be performing in a group routine inspired by the circus, Cirque du Soleil. ultimate dancer, then I need to see balance. And what better way to showcase your balance than with a Cirque du Soleil themed routine? Coming to the center. It's a complicated piece, because I only want the best of the best in my final three. Arch. Abby is going to pick out every single little detail that isn't right. And there's a lot of little details that aren't right. 
I think it's a little crazy that this routine is given to them in the week that they're fighting for their life for the top three. They're exhausted. They've been going for 45 days as it is. And now to give them something so strenuous, it's very nerve wracking to watch. Just lift yourself up, hook your leg. You reach back, boom, boom, and slide down. When I saw Shannon do this, I was freaking out. Not your leg, not your leg. Don't ever release your leg. Release. Oh my gosh, That's sorry. Okay. No, you're fine. Keep going, keep going. It's a lot to take in right now. If she falls, I mean, she could really hurt herself. I'm freaked out. Oh, got it. It's okay. I know it's hard. I know it is. I'm in the silks with a harness on my back, pressing in my back. I am so sore. This I don't know what it is, but it's something like digging into my, my ribs. I'm just stressed out because I'm doing this tomorrow and I'm not getting it. No, I get it. But right now we have an hour. This is like the last thing that we need right now. Breathe. It's competition day, and I only have three spots in my finale. With a circus theme, this is going to be fun, daring, and extremely difficult. To be in my top three, each dancer will have to give me their very best performance. I want you to be careful on the silks today. I'm on the verge of vomiting. I'm always nervous, just because that's just who I am. You need to focus on what? Tell me. We need to focus on straightening my legs, pouring my toes, and bringing it, giving it all I got. You're going to do great. OK. The girls are nervous. There's a lot of pressure. I'm just hoping when it comes to the stage, Asia doesn't get excited from performing and remembering to point those toes or not to sickle. Go out there with confidence, Madison. What are you afraid of? I'm not afraid. No, no, no. Afraid of no. this, no. Not for dance. Mm -hmm. Come on. I wish I was seven and cute again because it does give you an advantage, and they're not expecting as much from you as they're expecting from the older girls. I don't want to give anybody a reason to compare you, not to Asia. She's got the face. You're going to show the judges you can outperform facially and body-wise. It's not about outdoing her. It's about outdoing what I usually do. Welcome to another stage show here on Abby's Ultimate Dance Competition. This week's theme is Under the Big Top, and our four remaining dancers will be performing circus theme numbers as they try to make it to the finale. You guys want to meet the judges? We have Miss Robin Anton. Give it up for her. Ooh, thank you, Robin. Next to Robin is Richie Jackson. Hey, Richie. Richie Squirrel. Get the finger wave going. <laughs> and of course, Abby Lee Miller. All right, guys, our theme tonight is the circus. What should we expect from these dancers out here tonight? Lions and tigers and bears, oh my. We better see the best of the best tonight. Well, I'm looking for a girl who's not afraid to fall on their face because they want to dance so hard. I can't wait. There better not be one sickled foot on that stage tonight. You guys ready? All right, let's get started. During rehearsal, it was a little shaky. They were still learning how to work the equipment an hour before rehearsal was over. So I'm nervous for these girls. Please welcome our four finalists and a number inspired by the upcoming 3D movie Cirque du Soleil, Worlds Away. Let's get them out here. You know, I'm curious to see what this dance is going to look like. Before the group number, I was just praying to God that these girls can pull it off.
This week, the group dance is extremely stressful, and it's taken a toll on these kids' bodies. And they also have to perform their solos 150% to make it to the top three. Oh, my hair's not working. Okay, I mean, it's, it's... Look at this. Okay, rubber band got all tangled up in her hair, and it wouldn't come out. Madison just needs to calm down. I don't know I'm what sorry. you did. You, you were rushing. It's five minutes before I'm going on stage, and I'm extremely nervous. I wanted to be calm before I did my solo so I could do it really good. But instead, I was really stressed out. Today is the day where you make the top three. And if you don't, you're out. So I need to make sure that she's focused. Abby wants to see a little bit more face. She's going home, and we are not ready to go home. Hey there, welcome back. We are only one week away from our grand finale, where one contestant will finally be named the ultimate dancer. This week, we're all about the circus, and we're kicking it off with a lyrical piece about a high wire performer. I'm extremely nervous. I really want to make it to the final three. It's really important to apply the corrections that Abby gave me, because if I don't use the emotion and if I don't listen to her corrections, I could get eliminated tonight. Please welcome Madison. <laughs> Your face was very natural. Great emotional execution without being over rehearsed and cheesy. I did want to tell you, when you started up stage and you devil pay walk forward, you could have even showed off that foot a little bit more. So really straighten that knee and hyperextend that leg and show me what you have. All right, Madison, I would hire you for the circus. I think you were very entertaining. Robin Anson. The one thing that I would say for you, Madison, is when you're given certain things with your flexibility, there's certain angles that just don't look great. You need to think about that. I want to say I really thought this performance with you gave me a lot more than ever before. Thank you. If lyrical makes you do this, you got to find a way to put that into every genre of dance that you learn, because that was beautiful. Thank you. OK? They, they, they like her. Seat. If she wins, she wins, because she deserved it. That's it. Oh. Enough. Oh. You all deserve it. Are you kidding me? Great performance, yeah. Madison. Yeah. Richie thinks that it was a big transition from last week, and I'm really excited because it's the first time that Richie actually liked my dance, and I feel confident going into elimination. OK, so run your routine, and don't stop. I'm not going to say a word. I'm not going to say a word. My mom is working me so hard. She really wants me to make it to the top three. But I make my own way, and I improved a lot. And just being here is like I'm the winner of this competition. Did I tell you what's wrong, or should I just say everything's perfect? I just, Mom, I, I just, I, I know I'm going to be doing good on stage. OK, so you're practicing something you don't need to. OK, then. Krista is nervous. Let's be real. She can't teach technique in two days. She just can't. I'm not walking you up there if you don't practice. OK, you're going to have to ask someone to walk you up. Yeah, someone is walking me up. Asia's frustrated with me, and, and she has been. And she's gone into her little Asia attitude with me. But she's not prepared. This is the finals, and you have this time to run it, and you're not going to run it? Really? I'm not. You have to rock this to get into the final. You know every one of those girls want you gone. You need to remember your techniques, point your toes, and straighten that leg. Remember, you're staying here. Let's I have to prove to the judges that I can do my technique. So whoever thinks I'm going home tonight, they're wrong. No one's going to touch me. 
me. If they touch me, I'm bringing back with claws and big ones. Next up is a jazz routine about captive animals. Here's Asia. He's got both fingers going. Asia gets a standing ovation, and she is an amazing performer. But there's a difference between a performer and a dancer. What's the one thing that scared me? When she flipped over the monkey bars, and when she came down the lane, I was worried about her. That was a pretty big drop. Yeah. Both feet sickled in. How do you do these amazing performances? Show us the character. But she wouldn't turn her feet out. Asia, fix it. It needs to be more important to you. First of all, I want to say that at this point in the competition, this performance right here is all I've been asking for from all the rest of the girls. Thank you so much. Yes! Now give me the popcorn for real. Yeah, right? <laughs> you were like... <sighs> and I was like, oh, yes! And all I'm saying is the performance <laughs> element is there. You are Beyonce in seven years. Asia, I just have to say, Flawless. I loved it. I saw your feet very nicely pointed. I think I just found my little pussycat. Thank you so much. Excuse me. I didn't see pointed or flexed. I saw in between. I saw. But I I'm an animal. Flawless. No. Asia, do you have what it takes to make it to the top three? Mm. I don't know. I thought it was perfect. Judges, thank you so much. All of those puns, they're all, thank they're you. all fantastic. Asia, great job. Great I think job. this was Asia's best performance. She did everything that we work on, and I think this was strong enough to get her into the finals. They want to see the performance and the technique. I don't think she has both. Asia is a great little performer, but ultimately still needs to just work on technique. Look at yourself right here. Mm -hmm. We are making it tonight to the top three. Okay? Like Madison, Amanda needs to give her complete facial expressions while she's dancing. I just hope that Abby can see that. This is for you. Next up with a jazz routine about a freak show contortionist, please welcome Amanda. I want to see if she gives more face this time around. See what the judges thought. Abby Lee Miller, you don't look happy, but sometimes that's just your face. <laughs> well, Amanda, 
I really didn't see any contortion work. When I do contortion work, it's a form of acrobatics that goes above and beyond the means of a natural flexible back. You have excellent technique, but on that left grand jeté, your back foot came through bent and your foot was completely flexed. Would I call it contortion? Not really. I just think you're gorgeous. You know, I love watching you. I mean, I don't think it was the best that you've done in this competition, but it was nice. And I, I still think you're amazing. Thank you. Thank you, Robin. OK. What I'm seeing is someone who's so ballroomed out that they won't let themselves go past that ballroom. And in this choreography, there were so many breaths in between the actual movement for you to show me more personality. But you won't let her out. The only time I saw her out was the last eight count. But she was too late. Thank you. Thank you, judges. Thank you, Amanda. You can head down to the green room with your mom. It's hard to hear critiques after I've worked so hard, but eventually I knew something was going to be wrong because I'm not perfect. Nobody is. I saw the faces. I saw that. That's more than I can ask for. Amanda failed to have facial expressions. If Amanda goes home, I can beat out Brianna and Madison. They don't have the performance and the facial expressions that I can make. Next up with the musical theater piece about a clown, here's Brianna. This week, my biggest fear is that if I don't make the judges laugh, I might be going home because I haven't done my job as a clown. I thoroughly enjoyed the performance that lent itself to Cirque. Thank you. And the pantomime work that she did was excellent. I love the turn with dropping the head back. And I thought it was a good number. For me, I know we were going for the Cirque clown, but the antics of it all, for me, felt way more regular circus clown. Please, oh my god, you're such a great performer. You know that, but work on the technique. But that's all. So I'm just going to say, I think this was your best performance. Thank you so much. Oh. Hey, what? <laughs> no, because let me tell you why. I don't think anyone else in this competition could have done that number. I could have done that. That is really tough to commit. It was like your face was so crazy. It was so weird and so sometimes not, not cute. I love loved... this right now. And I loved your abs. And I love that you're Beverly and working that foot right now. Always. Go. Good job. Thank you, judges. Thank you, Brianna. Let's hear it from Brianna. Nice job. Doesn't matter about losing the tickets to New York. I'm just hoping that Brianna and I can make it through this round tonight. All right, judges, it's your turn to make a decision. Only three of these dancers can move on to next week's finale. Take some time. I'll come back when you've made your decision. And everybody wants that, so it's going to be tough. It is going to be tough. I mean, you just never know. Mm -hmm. We've been surprised so many times. She's the cat with more than nine lives. Yeah, I think she's got like more like 11 lives. I just want to beat her over the head with a stick. Like, come on, kid. Give it to me. Give it to me. Maybe she has truly shown us everything she's got. This one. I love every single time she comes out here. She's amazing. I'm not a fan of always goofy. To be honest, I wouldn't be afraid to lose her tonight. OK, who's next? She blew me away with the number, but not the face. See, for me, she's been my favorite. She's but not she's been my favorite. She's my favorites, too. Do you think that she really belongs in the final three? She, she listened the to the critiques. She, she made adjustments. She does. She didn't tell me, Abby, I'm the winner of your first competition. I don't know. I think we're running out of spares. 
I think this one might have to go on. Yes. Judges, have you come to a consensus? We're all sad. This week is by far the hardest. It'd be really horrible to be eliminated right before the final three because you've been working so hard. Dancers, moms, the judges have made their decision. Asia brought her A-game. She did some things that were very risky, and she made it work. I think the other dancers should be threatened. Let's find out which three of you will be moving on to the finale. Asia, please step forward. Madison, please step forward. Madison, tonight I saw corrections applied. I still see flaws that need corrected. But we also saw inspiration, performance, excitement, the real Madison. Asia, I think you're one cat with more than nine lives. Both of you are in the top three. I understand Asia's very good in her facials, but she should be going home. There's only one spot left to be a part of the top three. I want this so bad, and I want that last spot. I want to be that person that receives the $100,000 in the Joffrey Scholarship. I've been training my whole life for just this moment, and if I would be sent home tonight, I would be devastated. Amanda, Brianna, one of you is headed to the top three. The other is headed out of the big top. OK. So Amanda, your technique, the way you move, it's effortless, it's flawless. I just wanted more from you in here. Brianna, you're not afraid to fall, you're not afraid to be pretty, you're not afraid to be whimsical, to be, you know, comedic. Your bar is pretty like, da da But tonight I was like, ugh. I think that we're all a little emotional right now. We've become family. I would be very happy to have you dance for the Abby Lee Dance Company. And this is just the beginning. We need to make a decision. And tonight's performances hurt both of you. Brianna. Congratulations, you are in the top three. I'm very upset right now because it's been a really big challenge for me with my whole face and everything. But I did my best, and you know what? It's just their opinion. I want you to know that I struggled with this big time. In a few years, when I'm still doing the Pussycat Dolls, you are definitely going to be a doll. Amanda, I'm sorry. Today is not your day. to the top three. Wow, Maddie, that's so awesome, really. Yeah. It's a huge deal to make it into the top three. I've been working so hard for this my whole life. I want to be a professional dancer, and I made so many sacrifices. How's Grandma doing? Grandma's great. Everybody is thinking about you. We all miss you, but that's so awesome. We finally made it to the top three. It's been a long journey. If she wins, she gets to go to the Joffrey School of Ballet. That is life-changing for her. Madison's been dancing since she's been three. She started competing at the age of six. She needs this to get to her next step, which would be Juilliard. All right, love you, miss you. I'm gonna push myself to the limit like I've never pushed myself before, and I'm going to win this competition. So are you excited? Mm-hmm. I'm ready for today. I didn't come here to lose. Being a part of this competition is the biggest accomplishment of my dance career. You know, it's a dream come true, and I've been waiting for this my whole entire life. Is that too high? Mm -mm. OK. Brianna has been dancing for nine years, since she was four years old. She's won 30 to 31 first overalls. This is it, friend. Winning this scholarship would be huge for Brianna, because she would get training that she's not getting right now, and it would make her a better dancer. Bam! Oh, the stage. 
Asia's been dancing since two, and she's been on stage since four. Our biggest win with Star Power National is when Asia won Miss Petite title at five years old. A scholarship and a hundred thousand dollars, I think that would be amazing. Her knowledge of money, she can't comprehend that. But the scholarship alone, Asia gets that. I hope I win Abby's ultimate dance competition. Then it's going to turn into Asia's ultimate dance competition. Good morning, dancers. Good morning, moms. Congratulations on making it to the finale. Over the last few weeks, you've earned a place in the top three. What you do with that opportunity is up to you. You guys have your solos, but you'll also be performing a trio, which will be judged. But right now, are you ready for your last ever group challenge dance? Yes. I think you know your choreographer, one of the most intense choreographers ever. That's right. Today, I'm going to teach you the combination. I'm trying to look at this as any other challenge, but it's not like any other challenge we've done because it's with Avi. So I'm a little nervous going into this challenge. All right, moms, if you'd kindly exit the stage and take your seats. Our very last challenge is going to be tough. These dancers need to impress me with my own choreography, and I expect perfection. And reach, step, glissade. Abby teaches choreography different than other teachers. She actually doesn't show the movements. She explains the movements, and she walks it through. So you really have to be able to pick up choreography fast, and you have to know what she's asking for. And then Ronde Jean to back attitude, and your arms are in third. The winner of Abby's ultimate dance competition has to be a well-rounded dancer. Asia needs to show me her perfect technique. Madison has the perfect technique, but needs to emote. And Brianna, well, I want to see a softer side of her. Take what I gave you and make it amazing. You guys have 15 minutes to learn that, to rehearse. Then we'll come back. She'll watch, she'll judge, and she'll pick a winner. And the winner of this challenge will get to choose when you do your solo at our next show. You can go first, in the middle, or last. Whoever wins this gets that choice, OK? It is definitely an advantage to be able to pick where your solo will fall in line, first, second, or third. This is crucial. The prize of this challenge is you get to pick the order of which solo goes when. And there is an advantage to that. If you're last, I think the last one out, that's what the judges are going to remember. I think they should just go one at a time. So probably, Chris, you go first. And then you can just take Madison, and then I'll do Asia last. OK. <laughs> OK. Keep doing Asia last by so she can watch our kids. Does she know the choreography? I didn't mind the girls working one-on-one. -on -one. What I didn't like is Christy was pretty strategical about it, that she had Asia go last. So of course, her idea was to watch Brianna and Madison and pick up the choreography. Asia, come here. Come off stage. You're going to sit down. And, um, they're going to have each girl do it, and you're going to do it by yourself. So you're going to watch Brianna, and, they're, and you're going to watch, OK? I'm so worried right now that Asia has 15 minutes to learn this routine. I don't think she's going to get it in 15 minutes. Oh, it's wasting her time. I know. At this stage of the game, whoever's left, you need to be able to pick it up. So Asia has a disadvantage. Cue the music. You hold me up to block the sunlight. And I loved you all along. I do. OK, stand up. Asia, right now, I think this choreography is a little over your head. I specifically made the turns doubles. Double pirouette, double compass, single a la seconde for you. And you still didn't nail it. You've been sliding by in every one of these opening numbers, making mistakes, tripping people up. And then you get out there for your solo, and you nail it. And you're amazing. And you're getting standing ovations from the judges. Pull it all together, you could win this. Madison, at the end of the choreography, there's a tilt. You're piking it forward. 
instead of being properly aligned. Your hips need to square off at the beginning on the Grand Jeté downstage. Brianna, I've been on you about the feet. They're better. They're getting there. They're just not quite there yet. In this first turn, it was turned out. I put it on an angle so that I could see that turn out. And you didn't press that knee back. You didn't tuck that hip under. However, your tilt at the end was properly aligned. It was excellent. So with all that said, this was one close race. I'm going to have to go with Madison. Congratulations. You are the winner of the challenge. Great job, Madison. All right, why don't you tell us who's performing the first solo at the finale? Asia. Asia is number one. Madison chooses Asia to go first. Asia has a hard time waiting, so I'm fine with Asia going first. Who's following Asia? Brianna. All right, Brianna, and that would leave you the third and final solo. And one more little surprise for you. You each get a little mentor session with one of our three judges. These mentoring sessions are important for you to fix whatever weakness is holding you back. I really wanted Abby as my mentor because Abby's all about the technique. And that's what's going to help me win this competition. And one more thing, you've got your solo and a trio, but I will also have one more special surprise for you later on. <laughs> Final three dancers have been given solos that will test their weaknesses. Asia has a jazz solo with lots of technique. Brianna's contemporary number needs to show a more elegant, softer side. And Madison, yeah. she needs to pour out her emotions during her lyrical solo. Uh -huh. The clock is ticking, and these kids are running out of time. They need to get these routines down. Can you make that swoop a little bit more? So deeper plie here, and then more. Ooh. Today is my first rehearsal for my contemporary solo, and I'm really excited because contemporary is one of my strengths. Go ahead, girl. World is tiny, but I'm standing still. I'm noticing that the transitions in this piece are actually extremely hard. And if I do nail these transitions, I will show the judges that I can be a flowy dancer in a strong piece. <laughs> right now, it's not about the prize. That is secondary. It's not about the scholarship right now. It's not. I need her to do it for herself. For me, it's about my grandmother that passed away. She's gotten me through every week and been watching over me this whole experience. And we're at the final stage now, and she's just at the end of the line at the door to Joffrey and just saying, come. is dedicated to the competition because if I win this competition, I will leave for New York for four years. And it's saying goodbye to my family and friends in my dance studio, but it's saying I'll always see you later. All right, all right. Let's talk about it. Your neck goes from this calm space to like, <laughs> it gets so stiff. And I don't know how your body is like, I don't know how it's snapping around. Relax, relax. As I'm um, doing my turns, Ricky is telling me to hum so I can have a face when I turn because the judges always nail me for that. Oh, well, that was the most beautiful turn of the day. The judges have been picking on me for not having emotion, so I really need to take this correction. I really need to feel the dance because this song is so beautiful. And I just need to really do my best. I'm gonna stress you guys out about technical notes. You know what you need to do. The performance quality has to be above and beyond. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is the finale. We have to go out with a bang. Move your hips. Yeah, use your plate. I go boom. Yeah. My solo is very sassy and it's fierce. And my story is I'm a fierce diva, fast Denisha on the catwalk. Madison is the one to beat this week. My opinion, Asia can beat Madison if she's on her A game. 
Molly and I are on Asia like a hawk in that we are just pounding it in Asia's head how important it is for her to show that she has made improvements throughout this journey. That's gonna be cute. That's good. Hey, you're always first. Remember in competitions, you're always first. That's perfect. There's no pressure to get my solo done because those girls will be woo. And I'm woo. Hey, ladies. I see Abby coming down the stairs, and my heart drops. I'm like, there can't be another challenge. It's a big day around here. We have another surprise for you. We were talking it over. We don't think you have enough going on this week. Busy, busy, busy. There's also going to be a group number. Wait a second. There's only three of us. What's the difference between the trio and the group dance? We're going to bring in some guests. Should we bring the guests in? You guys want to meet the guests? Yes. yes. All right. Come on down. lightens the mood so much it makes this easier. I did not think Asia was gonna make the top three. I thought she was gonna make the top five. I'm happy to see Yvette. But I definitely know not all the moms are happy to see her. Uh, <laughs> I know what kind of day it's gonna be. You have no idea. It's so tough being back. I'm still very emotional about it because I definitely wanted Hadley to be in the top three. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. This is too much. <laughs> Proud of you, Asia. Oh, oh my god, my god. Excuse me. <laughs> Kids, line up. Yes. I'm sorry, moms, I have to say this. There's so much unfairness on the judging. My daughter, Lexine, all she got was hip hop, hip hop, and hip hop. She got paired with Asia. I am shocked that Asia is one of the three finalists. But if I was on the judging panel, I have to say, Madison's got this. This is a process. I have an opinion. The two other judges have an opinion. I think some of the moms have a chip on their shoulder because their children have been eliminated. And it's all coming out now. Would anyone else like to say anything? I think it's a little strange to compare a, a six, seven-year-old to like a 13-year-old. I feel like there may be a dancer in the top three that Zachary could easily outdance. Did I just say that? I did. You're very much about technique, technique, technique. I am. Right. Richie and Robin are not. These dance moms just don't know when to quit. Well, come on. Let's face it, their kid was cut. Move on. I know there's a lot of talk about Asia and that she shouldn't be here. That's not the case right here. Moms, don't put your foot in your mouth. I know you're all excited to get started, but I want to remind our three finalists. You are being judged on the opening number. Your friends, they are just performing. All right, you guys have a lot of work to do, so let's get your choreographer out here. Gina Starbucks. Hey, welcome back. Finalists, do your best. Bye. So this number is gonna be a bit like commercial, and Abby's very much about technique, and I come from a technical place myself, so have some fun with it. Okay, spread out, let's do this. Five, six, seven, eight, there it goes. One, right arm rolls up. Asia, make sure it gets above your head so I see it. I just think everyone is just envious of their child losing to a seven-year-old. 
With all these returning moms, I'm gonna have to be on guard 24-7. I got her this far, it's all up to her now. Because I'm such a great rhinestoner. <laughs> I'm the worst at rhinestoning. All the moms are sitting here gossiping and catching up. I don't care what these moms think. If people were buying tickets for these dancers to perform, Asia's would sell out. Six, seven, eight, drop. Right, left, cross. That part's tricky. Thank you, Brianna, that's nice. Now we have a solo and a trio. And now we have a group dance. Now you have three dances that are being performed and being judged. So the pressure's on. I have this gigantically huge scaffolding. Just be patient with me once we get on the scaffolding. I'm a little surprised that Asia has made it all this way, but I just feel like her technique is not good enough to be Abby's ultimate dancer. I'm just really puzzled that she even made it this far. Three people that I'm extremely happy to see uh, return. Yvette, Gina, and Erin. Those three ladies, I just have a different connection with each one of them. This is it! This is the final stretch! I know. Don't worry, I have stretch. really good aim. Can we drink? Cheers. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Good having you guys back. So happy to be back. Yes. Cheer you on. Yes. It's a victory lane. Yes. Mm -hmm. I just commend you guys for being here this long. Yeah. <laughs> I'm noticing that it's pretty divided. On one side, they're very comfortable with each other and talking, and on the other side, they're keeping to themselves. Crane can read right there that I'm just disgusted. What? what are you I'm still I'm just stressed. disgusted. I'm back for one day, and Christy's at it again. Come on, okay. get up, ladies. No, I'm not getting up, I'm good. Maria wants to have a toast. Christy's like, no, I'm not doing it. And that's just because you know Yvette's sitting there across the room from her. <laughs> and I don't blame her. Maria, Maria, let's get it real. I'm not toasting with the haters. I'm looking at a hater right there. Thanks. I cannot believe that Christy is attacking Yvette. Not now, it's not appropriate. I, I'm so flattered. I'm still laughing. I was laughing all the way home when you left because you ate your words. She, she is the best example of crazy dance mom. You yeah. need to own it. Own it. I well, I'm on purpose. Own and it. I, you made Elizabeth cry and, and you laughed. Wow. I just think people are cowards because they talk behind my back. So oh. you guys are all cowards because you know each one of you have. I told you to your face what I thought. And I'm sure you've talked about us. Well, sitting there with a smile. And guess what? That's what I was doing when you left. That's great. You have no class. You have no class. No, you just don't know how to deal with someone like me. Get out! I did Get out! Get out! I am telling you. Get out! I said out! You. I'm telling you. you Get out! You know what? You come to this world in LA, you'll never last a day. No never last a day. Can I talk for one yeah. second? Yeah. We are all here because we love our kids Stop to a fault. That. Stop. 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 Gina, you know what? In my world, I don't let people like that get away with it anyway. She's the one that talks about people's backs. I don't need to. All of a sudden, everybody's screaming at everybody, and it's a nut house again. Like, nothing has changed here. So you know what? I'm going to make a toast. I'm going to make a toast to Brianna and our mom, Chris, Madison and our mom, Corrine. And I'm even going to toast to Asia, and believe it or not, Christy made the best kid win. I couldn't be happier to be here to support all of the three finalists. Please join me. Cheers. To me, that woman's evil. And I just don't know why people can't see through it. Let's go. No, we'll go. Way. No, let's go. No, we're done. Come on, wait. No, not doing it. Are you kidding me? No, but good luck to Brianna and Madison. I was getting there. Thank you. Wow. I'm going with you. I ain't standing there for that No. This week, I'm sure Yvette's gonna probably try to do something. I don't put anything past her. You know what that is? It's high school. No, you know what? It's middle school. All those bitches in there are jealous because she's little and she's cute. If I have to put Yvette in her place again, I will. The group dance is essential for these three finalists. This is the first time it's being judged. 
These kids really need to bring their A game. They've got to work together with their eliminated friends, but also outshine one another. The pressure's on. Let's look at that one more time, yes? I see the scaffolding for the group dance. I'm like, are you kidding me? Another prop? I am nervous, but I just have to do what I do best, and I just have to go on stage and perform. Whoa, and a ka, ka, shoo, ka, ka. Jumping up and down off the scaffolding is kind of scary because you don't want to get nicked on anything that's on the scaffolding. But what you gonna do? War wounds are a part of dance. We've been climbing up the same damn wall, bleeding from our fingers, but we ain't gonna fall. Cause we know the clouds are gone. Ever since Christy walked out during the toast, there's definitely been a little uncomfortable feeling between the moms now. I just want to focus on Madison. I want to get her to the finale and I don't need distractions, I don't need drama. Right now I'm watching the rehearsal in this group dance. Asia is not fearful of huge props. She's working it and she has her own few moments that she can be herself and I think she's gonna show the judges that she can stand up there with the 13 year old and hold her own. Smooth six, seven, stop. Asia, you don't move till when? Five, here we go. Asia's struggling picking up the group challenge again. And this is not a toddler competition. Asia's got amazing face, but there's a lot more to dance than just that. If Asia can't learn the choreography, then she shouldn't be here. Today is the last day of rehearsals. My fellow judges and I have set aside time to mentor the final three. This is their last chance to fix whatever weakness is holding them back from victory. Is that a happy surprise or a frightened surprise? This is your little one-on-one -on -one chit chat. I think you need me. Asia needs Abby at this point. We want her to reinforce what she needs to do at this age to clean up the critiques that Abby has been giving her. You're sitting here right now, and your feet are sickling. On stage, you're not thinking about your feet. I want you to be able to come out there and be a star without this. Hey, hey, hey. How are you? Good, how are you? Fantastic, hi, Mom. Hi. I'm really happy that Madison got Richie as a mentor, because now she could finally ask him face to face, what is it that I need to do to win you over, to win this competition? For me, there's always been one thing missing with you. It's not face, it's emotion is what I want for you. So what I need you to do is just really just let go because you have everything else. I think I hold back a little on this competition with my emotion because I really want to impress Abby with my technique. But if I really use my emotion this week, I could win this competition. Hi, Brianna. Hi. I'm really happy that I'm having this one-on-one -on -one with Robin because I've never really gotten the chance to really connect with her. How do you see yourself as just a dancer? Sometimes I look at myself and I like what I'm seeing, and other times I go, oh, that doesn't look right. Sometimes with great dancers, they dance hard. It's not about being perfect. It's nice to have the mentor meeting. You get to see where the judge is coming from, what they're looking for. Where's the softer Brianna? That's, that's the Brianna that I want to know. Talking with her is great because I know what I need to show her in my last performance this week. Robin, Richie, and I, we're all looking for something different. Robin wants that star quality, that pizzazz. Richie is looking for feeling and emotion and passion. I, of course, I'm looking for technique. I want a flawless dancer to win this competition. So you're gonna, but look at your foot. Look every single time you hop. Ready, plie? Wing that foot. There you go. Now sickle it. That's what you do. Right back where we started. Show me what happy is. Who's happy, Madison? Okay, we love happy, Madison. Okay. Give me like someone just punched you in your gut pain. Or just like, ugh. <sighs> yes. And what'd you just say, out? Yeah. That's what should happen. Scream. <laughs> See, you're afraid. Break the glass. Ah! Ah! Damn.
Thank you. Oh my God. Richie is telling me that I just need to relax. I don't need to be so tense. I want the fingers from Richie this week. Fantastic. Sitting here with you, you look angelic. When I see you on stage, I don't see that. Where's the softer Brianna? That's the Brianna that I want to know. I'm tough, and I'm a very strong-willed person at school. Definitely people are rude to me, talk down to me. I have thick skin, but underneath there is another softer side of me. When you get onto stage, try to let go of the pressure. Let's see the soft, beautiful Brianna that I'm seeing right now. Dance with joy in your heart. There you go. She gets it. She just has to go on stage and do it. I'm a very smart girl, and I know that I'm going to do Ivy's Corrections because that's what's going to help me win this competition. Here's the deal. It's the top three. It's the finals. You go out there and turn that foot in, you're not the winner. Hey, guys. I am your trio teacher. It's lyrical. It's called, um... The finish line. OK, so it's kind of like appropriate. Coming to the finish line. You have to work as a team to make this trio awesome, but then also stand out individually, yeah? A trio is a very complicated routine. Timing is crucial for these three. And to be honest, if anyone is too fast or too slow, the judges and I are going to notice. Oh. Yeah. Being judged in this trio is a disadvantage. Asia is not strong and lyrical, so I am worried about it being judged. <laughs> Are you lost? Yeah. What part? The whole thing? It was kind of fast, and I didn't pick up the choreography like the other girls did. Roll. Leg out. Get face the back. Yeah, Asia, you got to go, because she can't step over you until you're there. Asia is having a little bit of trouble with the trio. Me and Brianna have had seven years more of training than Asia, so we definitely have more technique. Up and breathe to your spot. You have three different dancers up there, and it might be hard to get all three on the same timing because of the height difference. Asia is still having trouble picking up the choreography. However, they're being judged individually, so Madison's just gonna benefit from that. So you're both going this way, and then where you're going that way. Come here, come here, come here. Any moves, is there any move that's too hard for you? C-jump. Is there a C-jump that you're not used to? Show me the C-jump right now. Practice your C-jump. Uh, is that how you're supposed to land? Christy is, she's over the top in correcting Asia. Sometimes I think, you know, you just gotta sit back and let the girls dance. Right now, I'm thinking the trio is a big hot mess. Their timing is off. Asia's is always a step behind. One's faster, one's slower. They're interpreting the music differently. I just think it's a hot mess. Madison, you almost done? Because we got to get you stretched. Today is so important. I've worked so hard for this day. And I just have to take the judge's corrections. I have to have a lot of emotion. And I think I'll be great. I know this is your dream. You've always wanted this. You've come such a long way from your little ballet tap combo class. Mm -hmm. I know you want it. You just go out there it's and show so it. It's amazing to win. I really want to win this competition because of the Joffrey Scholarship. But we'll see what happens, because everybody's really, really good. Such a big day, right? This has been the most challenging, stressful week out of this whole competition. If Asia can't fix these corrections tonight, it's going to be over. I love you. I love you too. Just, I want you to dance from your heart. The pressure is on. There's $100,000 and a Joffrey scholarship on the line here. And I'm not competing anymore to stay another week. I'm competing for the prize now. So it's my last shot of showing the judges I can win this. No, it's all good. You know that. I love you no matter what. My mom's kind of getting a little emotional. But I love her to death, and I can't thank her enough for this experience. Oh. Today is the big day. Asia and I are walking in 
with our focus on making this the best performance ever. And we come into the vanity and we see this amazing table full of treats and of course drinks for us moms. Even though it is a pressure day, I'm feeling like I see a light at the end of the tunnel. Cheers to the Cheers. final three. Cheers to the final three. Good luck, everybody. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Walking into the vanity room is just a great experience, and I feel like I never left. We're not really in the competition. We're here to have fun. It's incredible. You need to change your group costume. It is really great being able to get ready with everybody again, like, for the last time. Five minutes. If Asia's gonna win this, she's gonna have to nail all three dances. There is no room for failure tonight. Asia has to bring her A game. I just need you know some air, Mom. You know I'm sweating. You know it's a final show. Someone's gonna have to pick a winner. I really hope it's me. The worst thing that can happen tonight is me not giving emotion. I know Asia has the face, and so does Brianna, and I just really need to bring it, or else I might upset the judges. Hey, guys, you need to learn how to play Kelly. Welcome to the final stage show of Abby's Ultimate Dance Competition. Ago, we began with 12 of America's best young dancers, and now only three remain. They've been tested in a variety of challenges and dance styles and proved themselves to be the best of the best. They're about to perform their very last competition dances in a battle to become Abby's first ever ultimate dancer. Who will it be? It all starts right now. Let's say hello to the three people who have had to make all the difficult decisions. I'm talking about our judges. She is the creator and choreographer for the world-famous Pussycat Dolls. Make some noise for the lovely Robin Anton. <laughs> Hi, Robin. Seated next to Robin, we have Richie Jackson. He is Lady Gaga's visual director and choreographer. Give it up for Richie. And certainly last but not least, I'm talking about Abby Lee Miller. Give it up, guys. Abby, who do you think is going to walk out here with $100,000 in scholarship? I'm always about the technique, but now that we're this far in the game and we're down to the top three, it comes down to some other things. Who took the corrections and applied them? Who has grown from the experience? Who has, you know, that entertainment value? Listen, they're all great. Anyone right. can win and, at this and point. And that's what makes a great competition. And even right now, it could come down to a motion that can get someone through because the technique should be here by this point. So we'll see. We have a special treat for this finale. Robin and Richie are gonna be on this stage dancing. <laughs> They've each choreographed the dance and they will be up here with their dancers doing their thing. And Abby Lee Miller, you've got some students coming up here, don't you? I have some students that are now professional dancers performing. I think we should bring our three finalists up here. What do you Woo! say? The three of you, come on out here. Let's have a round of applause for Brianna, Asia, and Madison, your top three. They love you. How does it feel to be here in the finale? It's so surreal being in the finale and having support from my family, friends, and choreographers makes this experience all the better. And I'm so happy to share it with these other two dancers. And Madison. Amazing. Uh, thank you so much for this amazing experience. It's been so awesome, and these other two girls are just so amazing. And thank you. Asia, what about you? How are you feeling right now? It's amazing to be in the top three with these two older girls. I didn't think I would make it this far. And if it wasn't because of my mom and how I perform, I wouldn't be standing with these two older girls. It's all girls. about the moms. It's true. Here to help these girls out, we have some of our eliminated dancers. Let's welcome Lexine, Zach, Elizabeth, Hadley, Jordan, and Amanda. Look at this group. Welcome back, guys. This group is going to perform a tribute to the women who got them this far, their moms. Take it away, guys. It's fun having my mom here because I wouldn't be here without her. 
I've never spent so much time with my mom. She really calms me down before I go on stage. I've had an amazing time with her, and this has definitely made our relationship a lot closer. We've been climbing up the same damn wall, bleeding from our fingers, but we ain't gonna fall. Cause we know the clouds are gonna part someday. Standing at the top, yeah, we're all gonna say, Look, mama, I made it. I made it. I made it. Yeah, look, mama, I made it. I made it. I made it. Yeah. What'd you think? Outstanding. I was thoroughly entertained. I loved the costuming. I thought the kids all did a great job. Madison, when you were on the scaffolding and you did eight turns, you nailed it. It was great. Brianna, I loved your beginning pose where you were like slouched there. It was really super cool. What I saw was three ladies basically fighting for their lives. I just saw three girls saying, I'm supposed to be here. I worked hard to get here. I deserve to win this competition and that scholarship. Um, you all did such a great job, Brianna. You were strong, you were powerful, but you were so light in your face and beautiful. So good for you. That was beautiful, yeah. And Madison, I just, I mean, I just have to say you're, you're stunning. I think that you gave it all tonight. I don't know, I know you were saying you want more and more, but tonight I think that you just, you killed it. And Asia, you're fierce, and everyone loves you, so no matter what happens, you are loved, so, yeah. Give them a hand, guys. Our final three. When we return, we've got more great performances, including two numbers featuring our judges, Richie and Robin, and later, one dancer will finally be crowned the winner of Abby's Ultimate Dance Competition. We'll be right back. <laughs> finale of Abby's Ultimate Dance Competition. Our three finalists will be dancing their hearts out to prove to the judges that they have what it takes to be Abby's Ultimate Dancer. But first, our lovely judge, Robin Anton, is gonna perform with some of her dancers. Let's give her a hand.
It's the only word I can find here. A lot of sass, though. Great job. Let's hear it for Robin and her dancers. Incredible. I thought it was perfect. Perfect. <laughs> and sharing this judge's table with Robin has been an honor. She is a mogul, and she is what every young girl should want for their future. Yes. Thank you, Abby. Great job, Robin. Thank you, Dancers, thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you. I like that. See you back out here in a bit, Robin. Are you confident about this number? Are you confident? Yes. Look at, we we have pink lipstick. I'm sweating. In a few minutes, the girls are going to go on stage and perform their trio, and I'm really nervous about this trio. It's not Asia's style, but I know she knows the routine, but I'm still nervous. If Asia nails this trio, there's nothing stopping her from winning this competition. It's all about the toes and the legs. It's very Asia. It's dramatic. Watch your feet. Remember, remember when you guys watched your interruptions and we gave you. You remember them? You remember the C jump? Be flowy. You need to be flowy. It's really hard being in three dances. I mean, We've never done that before, and we're being judged in all of them, so I have to be the best I could be in all three of them, and it is really nerve-wracking. Our next performance is a trio. Here are Asia, Brianna, and Madison. was a hot mess. If we're looking for the ultimate dancer, that's not a good mix. Gotta help the judges because it was a disaster. I'm sorry to say that the worst dancer in this trio is Asia. This trio was very important for us to see because we wanted to know if you three could work together, but also who would outshine the others. Brianna, that foot, in the very ending pose, when you go to the floor, you just are in such a bad habit of not winging your feet. You've just never worked through that, that it took like eight counts for you to get that foot on the floor. Madison, we've been on you about the faces and the turns. That's a big correction for every kid. And you did it again. You let the face go, you got nervous. And then when you went and nailed the ending and held on to it, there was this smile that was like, yeah you know, a Kodak Hair. moment, yes. and it was like, I just nailed that. Well, it's just its focus and its concentration, so it makes you kind of go into this place, and you have to go, right, the second you start to turn, you gotta know, I'm gonna nail it, it's okay, and I'm gonna, you know, you, just, you gotta work on it. Asia, you kind of move a lot to the words, which sometimes makes you look a little off compared to these two. I can see when your mouth is like, were you supposed to sing in this number as well? No. Okay, pass the mic. Brianna, you move on like a pop upbeat. You stay on the upbeat of the music. You're always go. Whereas when I watch you, Madison, you delayed a little bit. Things are a little more stretched out with you. So in my head right now, I'm trying to figure out who was right or who was wrong. Mm -hmm. Nothing about, for me, about this piece said everyone was wholeheartedly confident in what they just did. When but you're any more than just a solo, you have to work together in the mirror and have every single thing Perfect. And I think that's what was missing from this particular trio routine, because you guys didn't work together. It was like three separate and interpretations. I was really watching you two over here, and you two were not in sync with each other. You gotta go all the way and perform at this level in the competition. 
All right, girls, great job. Next up, your solos. As you know, Madison picked the order. Asia, you'll go first. And then Brianna and Madison, you will close out the show. Up next, Richie Jackson tears up the stage. And then Abby Lee Moore's professional dancers will take the stage. While the three finalists each put their all into the most important solos of their lives. And later, we'll find out which dancer will become Abby's first ever ultimate dancer. Stay with us. To be honest with you, I didn't love the trio. This was a hard dance for Asia. She was a few counts behind. Asia and I feel like the black sheep of this trio. It comes down to just the solo dance and hoping that we can bring it together and wow the judges. Welcome back to the final stage show of Abby's Ultimate Dance Competition. Now we have another judge performance choreographed by and featuring our very own Richie Jackson in a piece about getting into the circle of freedom where all genres of dance rule. Give it up, guys. fan of yours, so how do you think he did? Okay, 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 okay. You were fierce and dope, and you guys were off the hook, okay? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Jordan. Mr. Richard Jackson, ladies and gentlemen. Richie, head back, get changed, man. We'll see you back out here in a little bit. We're here at the season finale of Abby's Ultimate Dance Competition. Our three finalists have been judged on a group number with our returning cast and a trio. Now it's time for their final performances. I am not nervous to perform my solo. I'm gonna prove the judges wrong. I'm gonna point my feet, straight my legs, and bring the stuff that I was at. You're a fierce diva fashionista walking on the dance floor. You need to show them what a diva looks like. I'm gonna blow them away. <laughs> First up, performing a jazz solo. This could make or break her chances at our huge prize. Please welcome Asia.
Give it up for Asia! I'm watching Asia solo, and she's full of personality. Is it worthy of $100,000? No. I'm so proud of Asia. She did great. But I know in my heart that Brianna's going to go out and kill it. Let's turn it over to the judges and see what they thought of your last solo performance on this stage. Asia, incredible. Thank you. You, you bring... <laughs> you bring the performer out in all of us. We just want to get up on that stage and strut around with you. Right? Yeah. We already know you're a natural performer. But I'm all about the technique. That's why we gave you this very technical jazz solo. We worked on the preparation, the glee side, before your strata leap. Do you think that that was the best strata leap that you could have done in your whole life? I could have gone higher, but I don't know. But this is it. This is when you need to be the highest. The very ending pose, all the sass in the world, and then that supporting foot, the one you were standing on, was still turned in. OK. I think that you have so much talent packed inside that little tiny body, and it's just bursting at the seams. And the reason I'm tough on you is because I believe in you, and I think that you have longevity in your career, and I don't want to see you be one of these cute little kids that wins everything, and then they turn into a teenager, and they never dance again. Sometimes things come too easily to people. That's where I'm coming from. I want you to have it all. OK. OK, Richie, you're on. For me, I thought it was amazing. OK? What I just witnessed was someone who basically put everything on the line while still performing to the audience. Yeah. You walked out here like, I thought you had on heels the way you was walking. E exactly. Can you I, show I, me that I, walk I, one yeah. more time? Ooh. There you ah, go. Ooh. Ah, ooh. Yes. When I'm saying that, you gave me the story. I thought you was walking into Hollywood. Yeah. You had your shades on, you threw them off, you gave us face. All I'm saying is that, yes, you can still fix the technique, but you definitely are giving me what I need to get at the finale in yes. this competition. All right, Asia, you're still on the top of my list. I mean... You know what? You just understand, you know? You don't even realize it makes you do this face and this just like, because you feel it. Yes. And that's what it's about with you. The technique is there, but what I do notice is your in-betweens, like you, you, you come out of it for literally like, it's a hair of a second, but it's like you're thinking about going into the next thing. And that little tiny thing can hurt you. I am a massive Asia fan. Massive. Asia, this was your last solo performance on Abby's Ultimate Dance Competition. Do you think you gave us the performance to win? I gave it all I got. All right. Let's hear it for Asia. A lot of Asia fans out there. Judges, thank you very much. You did amazing. You did amazing. I gave the solo all I had, and I think that was worth $100,000. Watching Asia solo tonight was entertaining, but the quality and the difficulty, it's not there. $100,000 and a Joffrey scholarship? No, that's not my winner. Competition. Remember everything that we talked about, holding on to all your technical aspects. Remember your grandma. Your grandpa is up above watching you. This is where you belong. Don't you forget that. The most important dance tonight is the solo. There's like a personal connection. So that's why I get emotional. The final thing that I want Brianna to remember is that she belongs here. She deserves to be here. And that her angels, my parents, are watching over her. Okay. Oh.
Next up with a contemporary dance about an angel, please welcome Brianna in her final solo of the competition. for Brianna, you guys. So Brianna, your final solo on this stage. Do you feel that that performance just won you the $100,000 in the scholarship to the Joffrey Ballet in New York? This journey has been so amazing. And I think besides taking all the corrections that you guys have given me and try to fix them and show you that I deserve this, I walked out on that stage and I saw my grandma. And she's been helping me throughout this experience. <laughs> but. My goal for this was to show you guys that I unleashed my soul and showed you guys the dancer that I really am. So thank you for that opportunity. That's a good speech. Well, I think from the very beginning, from the first time I stood on that stage with you and met you, you have been open-minded. You have been a warrior. You have been an athlete, and I want to commend you on that. Thank you. Now, down to the nitty gritty. The layout, a little scary. I was on the edge of my seat. Were you gonna fall backwards or not? Let's move to the ending turn. Were you all the way up in Relevé where you should have been? Was that turn at the end of that number worth $100,000? Was that the best Brianna that we could have ever seen? Richie? Throughout this competition, Brianna, you have just been so consistent in your delivery in diving into the piece or the character while still showing me you. Your passion is enormous, and I don't ever want you to ever give that up. Thank you. Even if that term wasn't $100,000, you at least made me feel like it was. <laughs> so great job. You love to dance. When I watch you, it makes me so appreciative that I know what dancing, that I'm a dancer and that I understand it and that I've gone through this journey in my life, you know? But one thing I wanna say, when I said, let your hair down, I meant it literally. I would have liked to have seen it a little more angelic down and, and looser and, you know, that is something that I was missing. So, yeah, great job. Thank, thank you. you judges. Brianna, thank you, great job. Brianna, you guys. <laughs> I think in every routine I did tonight, the group dance, the trio, or my solo, I showed the judges a different dancer in each one of them. And each one of them, I did the best that I ever could. I gave it my all, and I'm definitely happy with the last performance I'll ever do on that stage. Are you happy? I want you to be happy, because I'm happy. She gave a brilliant performance, but I still don't know if it's enough to win the competition. Good job! You guys did awesome! Good job! Now we just wait. Madison's coming up. You could do this. You got it. Yeah. Okay? Let's yeah. go out there and live it. I'm backstage with Madison right before she's about to go on, and I see how nervous she is. So I just have to calm her down and just tell her, 
live. You're gonna do fine. Go out on that stage and just dance. Do what you love to do, and the judges will see it. So far, we've seen two, and now it's time for this week's challenge winner to perform a lyrical solo. Please welcome Madison. <laughs> Madison, you won the challenge this week, and you got to choose whether you dance first in the middle or last, and you chose last. Do you think that worked out for you? Yeah, sorry. It's OK. I <laughs> yes, I definitely think it helped. And I'm really happy I picked last. Let's see what they thought. Abby Lee Miller, we will start with you. Madison's final solo. I was moved by your performance. Your strength is lyrical. But this solo was to test how well you can emote. I felt that you were fresh and young and innocent. I thought the facial expressions were honest and open, and you were happy to be out on the stage dancing. They didn't look over-rehearsed. Technically, the only thing that I would improve upon is your degage on your supporting foot on your arabesque saute. You did two arabesque sautés, and I want to see that front foot turn out, lead with the heel, and get up off the ground. Otherwise, totally impressed with your turns. Beautiful. When I watch dancers solo, I always want to feel like they might have done this on their own. And when I saw you do this piece, that was what I felt. I know for me in this competition that you have not always been my favorite. More so because I was always missing the expression, the emotion, and I am a firm believer in always dancing honestly. And I really feel like this was a very, very honest performance. I thought it was amazing. Well, Madison, I've also been a fan of yours throughout this competition, and I've watched you give us go-go. I've watched you give us fierce, hard dancing. And what I love about you is that you can do it all. And that is what a great dancer is. But what I loved about tonight is that you just went, you know what, I'm just gonna dance for my life. Whether I win or I don't win, you gave the best performance that you could possibly give, and it was beautiful. It was freedom. It's crazy how tight this competition is right now. Thank you. Madison kind of came out of her, uh, her shell, and Abby called it as well, and that was a surprise, but I think Brianna looked better to me than Madison. Madison did a good job, but good's not good enough. When Madison came off stage, it was tears of happiness and all the emotions that she was feeling just let go. There's usually one judge giving her negative feedback, and tonight, no one gave her negative feedback. You did amazing! Thank you. 
We're in the green room and it's minutes away before we find out the results. We're all nervous, we're all anxious, and I'm just dying to find out who is gonna be Abby's ultimate dancer. Welcome back. We're here at the season finale of Abby's Ultimate Dance Competition. And now finally, we get to see Abby's expertise in action as some of her former students take the stage. Please welcome four members of the Abby Lee Professional Dance Company. Are we strong enough? Can we make the cut? Can we cross the finish line? Make it out in time. Can we pass the bar? Can we make the grade? Can we make it on our own? Make it all alone. Can we pull it off? Can we save the day? Abby, Richie, Robin, that's it. You've seen Asia, Brianna, and Madison perform as a group, as a trio, and now as soloists. It's time for you to make the biggest decision of this competition. Which one of these girls has earned the $100,000 prize and a four-year scholarship to the Young Dancers program at the Joffrey Ballet School in New York? Let's talk about the best dancer. This is my best dancer. She can do my choreography. She's the best dancer. Brianna doesn't have the she lines. Get up, she can be afraid. Feet. She has bad feet, and they've consistently, yes. consistently been bad. Now it just seems like we have to wait forever to find out. This one is going to go far. I don't think she's the best dancer. It's my they all have dancer. issues. I look for stars. She's a star. Well, this is a dance competition. Brianna, on the other hand, I thought it was fantastic. I think Brianna's strong. She's athletic. She's tough. Consistent. But that's it. She's but she's hard. Woman. Every challenge she's gotten, she's, she's just stepped big up and to nasty every and challenge. strong, and she folds those kids over. Well, she's been prepared. She does not impress. I asked her to come in and soften it up. And you know, I saw it, but I didn't see it 100%. But she has so many flaws. This kid technically is gorgeous and wonderful to look at, but she can't act or perform like these two. I'm not going to say was her all-time greatest. But again, same old, same old. Side aerial on the right, straddle on the right. At least this kid came out and did stuff on the left. She did stuff we haven't seen her do before. Right, but Madison has had some bad performances. She hasn't had great or many even good performances. She does. At least she was doing a ballet dance. This one has nothing but jazz. I have to say tonight, Madison was clearly the one who championed. Clearly. Clearly. I agree. I'm really Hands impressed. down. How do you think you did? You felt good, right? I thought she was great. I thought she was beautiful. I didn't see Madison for six weeks. And it was only until she got challenged to dance for her life was the first time I ever seen her. She took all of your mentoring corrections. Yes. She came out. She did it. She opened up. She was unbelievable. Yeah, she, she was finally showed awesome. up. She was. She was clean. She was fresh. She was a dancer's body. Yes. She had beautiful lines. Exactly, which yes. is what we love. I mean, that's what I look for. I like that wholesome, I do too. squeaky clean I do princess too. image. But Madison just showed up. That's well, my only problem. That's okay. So if you do a tour for eight weeks, do you wait on the tour for the eighth week for your dancers to be amazing? No. They gotta be amazing from day one. Yes. How'd you think you did, Brianna? Uh, I think I did the best that I possibly could. Left it all out there. It really all just depends on what they think. 
You know you love Asia. I think she's great musicality, and she has great timing, and she has great, like, that just intuition yeah. to read the music ahead of time. She does. she does. This was a good one. You finally impressed Abby. She has new appreciation for you. Did you hear her say that? That's good. She's got to work on her technique. I don't care. I love her. I think she's amazing. There's a reason why I love her, and America loves her. We're only minutes away and minutes and minutes and minutes away from hearing the judge's decision. And Madison and Brianna are really nervous. I'm not nervous at all right now because I know I'm worth $100,000. Yes. Brianna and Madison, they're both great dancers. Asia would win because she's the star of the of the whole competition. I hate to say it, it wasn't nothing else that I hadn't seen from Asia. For me, it was another one of her performances. No, another one of her great performances. Okay. As far as the trio, Madison and Brianna, their timing was so off that it was hard for me to really I agree. See them. I agree. So I, know, the I, know, I, I can't, even, so I can't even comment. We're down to the wire. Right now, we're just waiting for the judges to deliberate, and Madison and I are exhausted. We're excited. This is all just so nerve wracking. We just want to know now. We've been working so hard for the past 10 weeks. We just want to know the outcome. Have you come to a consensus? Yeah, it's, yes. it's, it's really tearing our hearts apart. Let's go ahead and bring the moms and their daughters back up to the stage. Congratulations, girls. Congratulations, moms. This has been an incredible journey and one of the toughest decisions that we've ever made. This time being on stage for the competition is just way worse than any other elimination. It's horrible. We're just so nervous. It's so nerve wracking. Moms, this is your last chance. Tell the judges why you think your daughter should win. I think Asia, since she's come here, I think that she has grown with your help with your critique, she's taken it to heart, and she brought everything to the stage with her performance each week. This has been an amazing journey for Madison and I. She wants to win this more than anything. She would love to go to the Joffrey School of Dance. She knows that she wants to go to Juilliard one day. That would be the next step, is to get her there, is to the Joffrey School of Dance. She just lives and breathes dance, and it's her passion. Um, I believe that Brianna has been working for this since she was four years old. And I know it's something that she really wants. She's danced her heart out for you. This has been an amazing journey for the both of us. And it's something that we'll never forget. Thank you, moms. Now it's time to find out which one of you will be Abby's first ever ultimate dancer. Standing on stage is just, it's brutal. Anyone could take this competition. So we don't know which way it's gonna go. Ladies, I am honored to have the three of you standing before us on this stage for the very first Abby's Ultimate Dance Competition. And I know if you continue working the way you have these past 10 weeks, you're gonna have great, exciting, fun-filled careers. And the opportunities are endless. Now, my last critique, Asia, You've worked so hard in this competition. I know everyone talks about your age, and I don't want to do that. I've been the one on your back, all about the technique. I've never let up one week. I've been tough on you. But look how far you've come. You are clearly a star. Beyonce in seven years. <laughs> I feel like you're my little star here. And you know, I think of you as lightning in a bottle. You're the tiniest one, but you dance and shine like the biggest star. Thank you. Brianna, you dance with your soul. You've overcome obstacles. 
I think that your strength and your exhilaration and your determination are a force to be reckoned with. But I want you to step away from that and I want you to work on all the other things. The feet, the legs, the posture, close the ribs, all the things I've droned on about. Yes? Brianna, I don't know what else we could throw at you that you're not gonna say, okay, great, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna be in a fat suit, I'm gonna be a werewolf and Little Red Riding Hood at the same time. A performance that I thought was amazing, that African performance I still have not recovered from. So great job, great job. Madison, you are a dancer. You were born to dance. I think you held back a little bit, maybe too long. Madison, every single week, you worked and you worked and you you know, it's kind of like you crawled your way up there. And I am proud of you for pouring your heart out and living on stage. There is no doubt that someday you will dance on the Great White Way. So please send me a ticket to your first Broadway show. Thank you. I wish that I could take that check, tear it into three parts, and we could all go home happy. But unfortunately, that is not possible at this time. So without further ado, the dancer who placed last in this final competition is Asia. Asia. Congratulations, nobody thought you'd make it this far, and you proved them all wrong, including me. I got third place, but I think I did really good. I'm a performer, and I made it this far, and just being here makes me a winner anyways. Brianna, Madison, this is the toughest decision we've had to make so far. You are both incredibly talented. We're down to the final two. Brianna wants the scholarship to Joffrey more than anything and $100,000. And it comes down to this moment, Brianna and I are both dying at this point. The winner of Abby's Ultimate Dance Competition is... is Brianna. When I heard Abby say my name, I broke down. I couldn't believe that my dream had finally come true. And words can't describe how honored I feel about being Abby's first ever Ultimate Dancer. This belongs to you. Congratulations, Brianna. This has been a life-changing experience, and I'm extremely proud of Brianna. I feel like she's kind of blossomed here. I'm really proud of Brianna for winning this competition. She's such an amazing dancer, and this has been such an awesome experience, so I'm really proud of myself. I'm disappointed for Madison because I know she really wanted it, but I'm happy that she made it this far. Brianna is the epitome of an Abby Lee Dance Company member, and I think in the end, it just came down to consistency. This is definitely a once-in-a-lifetime moment, and I'll never forget this experience. <laughs>